and welcome to today's Go Market Update on Thursday the 25th of August. I hope you're all well today. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst for Go Markets here to take you around what's happening today. We start with what's coming across the news wires this morning. We see US equities managed to finish overnight with gains after a choppy session. Markets are really in pause, waiting for some clarity on what's happening with the Fed over the next few months and Jerome Powell's speech at the Jackson Hole Symposium may give us some clues as to what the outlook may be. US futures are higher in the Asian session following through from that overnight gain and Asian indices are following the US lead. ASX is up 0.7% in early trading. European futures are suggesting a neutral open at this stage but of course that may change during the course of the day before markets open in Europe. US dollar index is pausing near that 20 year high that we referenced earlier in the week. Gold is trading within a short term range. We're looking at 1765 as the key level to the upside, at 1740 to the downside. Oil is testing resistance after its recent up move and pushing up to around about $102 a barrel on the Brent crude CFD contract. Copper is still holding in a tight range between 360 and 370 and VIX pulled back a little bit on the equity market strength and is trading around 22 underneath that 25 key level. Bitcoin continues to test 21,000 support but is holding it for now it's around about 21,300 as we record this and of course we've got the Jackson Hole Symposium starting later today. It is a big day today also with US and German GDP numbers out it's the US preliminary GDP number, which is the most important of the three. We've also got US weekly jobs and PCE numbers, which gives the market plenty to digest before that big speech from the Fed chairman at Jackson Hole. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that are catching our eye today. Uh, we're going to start with the Aussie US and you can see there we have moved up on the daily chart, rounded bottom type of formation, bounce off support at around about this 68.55 level. And now look as though we're getting interesting, possibly for a move back up to 70.22. So possibly an 80 pip move to the upside. If we look at the hourly chart, we've got a bit of noise to get through before we get right up there, which suggests that if we do break this level at around about 69.53 that may be the higher probability trade even though we're looking as though we're breaking short-term resistance at the moment on the asx we're looking at twe so subsequent to this break of 316 which is an important level long term we've seen a little bit of uncertainty around whether to push up higher or not so we're now looking at 350 on this as the key level you can see we're trading about 14 cents beneath that if we should break that level, you can see how it is important on the weekly chart. We've got to go on the monthly chart. You can see there's plenty of upside to this, possibly as high as 1485 in the medium term. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.